everyone, it's me Jenny and it's time for another British culture type talk thing and today's subject is the English British royal family um, and before I start, uh, this is just my personal opinion and a couple of spewed out thoughts, I haven't done any prep on this whatsoever or any particular research, just a couple of thoughts that I have on the British royal family and any information that just comes to my brain as I said. Um, so the reason why I chose the subject was because I was completely utterly uninspired for today's video and uh, I couldn't think of anything to talk about and uh, I was thinking about some of the uh, most iconic aspects of the English culture, British culture, and uh, the royal family came to mind. Um, eventually it took a little while which kind of goes into what I'm going to be talking about in this video which is um, there is a lot of romanticising of the British royal family and it very much depends on where you're from and what part of the culture you're from and what country you're from. Um, for me personally, as I said, this is just my opinion and my thoughts as they come to my brain, I kind of view particularly the Queen but pretty much all the royal family kind of like those very 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 distant cousins that you never really talk about or talk to but occasionally you get a letter and you don't really read it but it's nice to know they're still around um, in terms of the history of the British royals and all of the monarchies over the centuries I just I love the fact that we have that history um, I know that um, a lot of Americans feel maybe slightly distanced from history because it's such a, a new kind of culture um, and a lot of the original culture of the Americas has been lost um, while England you can wander from one place to another and see the history you can see Roman ruins and you can see Celtic um, you know mass little like hillocks where you can see the lands being broken down you can see Edwardian you can see Georgia and you can see different eras of Britain all over Britain um, and it's basically like a giant museum and that's one of the best things about the royal family is that they have this immense history and heritage and these murderous things that come out in you know these uh, historical dramas every few years where you get you know the Tudors yet again visited in some capacity or another just generally the British royal family and all of their connections to Europe and the European royal family is genuinely fascinating particularly when you go back a couple of generations um, and their history and lineage is very very impressive and so much of the history is based around their decisions nowadays um, for me I kind of as I said view them as very 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 distant relatives that you never really talk to in that sort of fond but distant sort of way I completely didn't really I knew of the wedding, I knew of the baby, um, I was slightly too young to really care about Diana but I remember that I kind of can remember some of the fallout from Diana um, but generally I've never been that drawn up into the romanticised aspects of the British royal family. Um, I have great respect for the Queen for it must be such a hard job because you're constantly on your feet, you're constantly having to be observed and it's kind of like a culture of kind of being brought up into um, into a celebrity setting as being brought up with all of these people watching you all the time and having that level of cultural awareness and that must be an incredibly rough job I have huge huge respect a huge respect for the Queen she's you know she's not young but she's been there she's traveled the world she's done a lot of things and she's constantly in the public eye and I have a huge respect for that do I really care that much not really. Would I want to see them go? No. Um, both for the sense of history and for the sense that they are great for the economy. Um, and they represent something very old. Um, it's it, The Queen opened my dad's place of work when I was 13, 12, 13. And I can remember going to that and getting kind of excited and being like, Oh, maybe I'll be the girl who gets to present the flowers. I wasn't the girl who got to present the flowers. I saw her from about 30 foot away. Um, and I had to wear a dress and it was a nice occasion but it wasn't personal, it wasn't something that really stuck in my memory forever um, and again all I saw was a nice really hard working old lady doing her duty and that's as much as I see it. Um, as for the younger generation I'll be interested to see what happens as they grow up but at the moment they're so far down the line in terms of heritage and power that by the time they actually get any power um, I don't think the monarchy would have any more power than it has now, probably even less, um, and they will become, I have heard the British royal family, sadly, compared to the Kardashians, and that kind of is what's 
sort of happening because they're losing all that political power and they're losing that wonderful sense of heritage to go towards more of a just a really really wealthy important family without any real power which is a shame but as culture progresses so does the system um, and those are my thoughts again these are not the thoughts of general people in Britain these are just my personal thoughts and my personal ideas about the British royal family um, I think they work incredibly hard I'd love to see the future lifetime movies for all of these people um, but they have very little power now they have to do certain things in terms of historical relevance but um, in terms of actual you know who decides who to go to war when it's a whole other issue um, and yeah those are my thoughts. I'm sorry if I've offended any British people. I'm sorry if I've horrendously offended any um, non-British people. As always, I'm sorry and I hope you can forgive me and don't come to my door with pitchforks. Uh, I will see you guys all next week for another Jenny Likes Children's Books and in the next week for something else that British and culture. Maybe I'll do some prep for that. You never know. Anyway, uh, feel free to comment down below about your thoughts about the British royal family. Uh, do you care about them? Do you not care about them? Do you find yourself indifferent? Uh, I would describe myself probably as anti disestablishmentarianist which is one of the longest words in the English language, which means that I'm not against the establishment. If someone else is against the establishment, then I'm against them. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, anyway, I've already said my byes, so bye again. Um...